um, school supplies, but they're not going to be going to the office um, suppliers. These are suffering as well. They're all in the negative. Mm -hmm. They're all expected to post very bad same store sales. So where are they going? Dollar stores or some of the big retailers? They're going to the discounters, which in itself has become a very competitive environment. We're seeing that the dollar stores are going to be on top, especially Dollar General. They've actually expanded the stationary offering just in time for back to school, mm -hmm. and it's definitely going to pay off because they are on top when it comes to the discounters. So overall, how is the season shaping up compared just say to last year, from what you know now? Well, when you look at the entire season, we're expecting a 2% same store sales growth on top of a 1.6% growth last year. So it's definitely an improvement over last year. The only thing is it's a very late start. So we won't see those numbers. We won't see the consumers hit the stores until the end of August, beginning of September. And is there anything about back to school that gives you clues looking out to the next big shopping season? Not too early to talk about uh, fourth quarter <laughs> holiday sales. If it's late for back to school, can it also be late for the next big shopping season that you track. It is definitely a possibility. One thing we know for sure is that consumers love to procrastinate every year and we're already um, hearing that some of the retailers are playing some of the Christmas songs oh, already no. in the Please stores. Oh no, don't yes. tell me already. <laughs> yes.